day, one's torrential rain in the Western Cape gave way to a morning of low cloud in the Hrabo Elgin Valley for stage two of the FNB Wines to Wales Chardonnay event. 60 kilometres of seriously fun trails was on the menu for a stage that carries the moniker Play Day. Resplendent in leaders yellow, team faces Adelaide Morath and Candace Lill applied pressure up the early climbs in Oak Valley, a tactic that worked well on day one and it distilled the lead group down to four teams on day two. Crosspur's Samara Shepherd from New Zealand and Switzerland's Ariane Luti were the first to take strain as they struggled to maintain contact with the bunch. For the one and a half minute lead over Team Dorma Carbers de Groot and McDougall, Candice Lill and Adelaide Morath were content to let their chasers do the hard work. Fairtree Rotville, third overall, also took strain as Nadine Reeder rode ahead of Jenny Stenhaag each time the trail pointed skyward. The 30-year-old German Reeder patiently paced her Swedish partner back each time. The leading quartet was still together, Dorma Carber, De Groot and McDougall unable to get away from the faces pair. Stenhaag and Reeder rejoined once more as they wound through the superb trails of Paul Kluver. Morath looked to increase the tempo on the front at one stage. Then Reeder and Stenerhoek tried their best to put their rivals under the pump on the flat as they wove between the big puddles, a legacy of day one's deluge in the area. One of the day's many highlights, the Pofunda Trail cuts deep into the lower slopes of the Grunlandberg, where the waterfall was gushing down the mountain. Cross Spur, Shepherd and Luti were fifth and chasing hard to try and close the gap. The short, sharp ascents late in the stage again saw Stenerhoek drop off the back of the group. It was something they'd prepared for and each time they hit the flat terrain, they powered on to close the gap. However, a late mechanical would scupper their hopes. The status quo remained up front. Lil and Morath kept a high pace, which made it impossible for De Groot and McDougall to launch an attack. The welcome sunshine ensured the trails were tacky but fun to ride. Having lost time to their mechanical just before water point three, Fairtree Rotfield put their heads down in pursuit of the top two teams. Team Faces led through the iconic Perry Cromco play park, which took them right through the fruit packing shed. Flowing back into Oak Valley and with no chance of escaping, both teams, Faces and Dormacaba, settled for the dice of a finish line sprint. Candace Lill led out partner Morath with neither Amy McDougall or Robert Accruet able to pass and it was a second stage win for Team Faces who increased their general classification lead by a second. A wire in Sinha's rear cassette cost them a chance to contest the sprint and Fairtree Rotfield with third. When you cross the line it's like a big relief because in conditions like this something can happen so fast that you just lose it. So I'm like what, the whole time on edge like trying to make sure that we're safe um, and it's a big relief to cross the line. I struggled a little bit with my gears and uh, I dropped back and um, I, obviously I was a bit tired also but then uh, we caught back up on the single tracks and then uh, that happened quite a few times. I dropped on the climbs and then we caught back on the downhills so eventually when I dropped I felt quite calm doing it because I knew we were going to catch again on the on the single tracks and on that long uh, Lebanon trails there um, we caught up with them and rode quite nicely and then uh, about 500, uh, 500 meters from the last water point <laughs> um, I got a steel wire wrapped in my cassette and we had to stop and take it out and it took me quite a while to figure out how it had been wrapped <laughs> so it took uh, quite a long time to to fix that and then I went uh, Unfortunately, we couldn't catch them again.